it's November 7th right now. It is 2.55. Um. I would like to say interesting hour and a half but I'm feeling really sick to my stomach right now because I literally just watched a buck that I shot at twice and hit both times um, just walk away uh, I'm gonna turn this off and get down here on my phone and see what's going on yeah so you know, I, I ended up packing all my stuff up. It, I just, as you you know, as everything happened in the stand, it wasn't my day. Um, and I just decided that, hey, like, I think I put a kill shot on this deer, but I'm still just gonna let him lay. Um, it was cold enough, it dropped to like, I think low 30s, maybe high 20s. Um, so I decided, you know, just, just drive home, relax, you know, think back, look over the shots when I got home, make sure everything was good. And I mean, the story really didn't end there. It it sort of began. I am um, driving to try to find my buck that I shot last night. Uh, actually shot it twice. Called him back in at the first shot because he just dipped my shot. So you'll get the whole story about that later, but hopefully I can find him. I get to the point where the last point I saw my buck and I mean, immediately I jump on just a perfect blood trail. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better blood shot. I just had to keep walking and just keep following. And I ended up getting like 75 yards into it from where I last saw him the night before. And I get into these woods. I walk through a sand pit. I get into these woods. And I'm just, you know, slowly taking my time to go through the woods, not trying to make a lot of noise. But obviously there's leaves on the ground. It's November 8th, you know, leaves have fallen. They're crunchy. So I'm just you know, making my way, falling blood, and I get to a point where he must have bedded down, laid down for a second or something, because there's blood and the leaves are all like spun up. But after that, like there was absolutely no blood. I still don't know where the blood went from there. Um, but I get to that point and I'm looking around and I think, I don't know if I made a call or I was on the phone with somebody and all of a sudden this buck pops out of the these pine trees um, upwind of me just because of my noise and he just takes off and it was it happened so fast I didn't even know if it was my deer or not um and if it was my deer I was thinking to myself wow I really didn't put a good shot on him um like what's going on why is there so much blood and why isn't there and the dead deer at the end of this you know trail uh so I I decided to pull back out again go back to my truck grab my bow just in case that was my buck um, and I, I go back to the spot again. I'm still looking for blood at that same spot just to see if it sort of leads down to where that deer was bedding. And I ended up just saying, screw it, because I had class at 11. So I'm trying to make this all happen by 11. It's probably 9.30 at this point. Um, and I decided to just trek down to where that buck was. It was down a hill in this tiny little patch of pines. And I get down there and I see blood. And so I'm pretty sure it was my deer. Um, and almost positive it was my deer that I popped up. And so I keep walking and I mean, I find these just massive scrapes that he, that must've been his little honey hole and his little house. Um, but he would destroy these pine trees down there. So I'm tracking the blood more and there's a pond up to my right. Um, you know, there's some thicket to the left. There's hardwoods past that. And I'm just tracking this blood, just, you know, hoping that this buck laid down again, just because I just spooked him up, you know, like, 30 minutes prior to this so I'm walking down the trail of blood and all of a sudden I see this my deer just you know 60 70 yards in front of me just walking walking through just slow you know you could tell he wasn't feeling too great and I am trying to think as fast as I can on my feet to how I can get up to this deer and take another shot so I strap on the GoPro um, to my stabilizer just because the, this is the craziest hunt I've ever been on um, especially a whitetail and 
I'm tracking the blood still, but I decide to veer off the trail to try to stay downwind of him. And I end up getting into these pickers that I can't, I couldn't get through. And so I, I have to turn around and come back again. And I'm making all this noise. And I just think in my head, and I was like, oh, it's right. You know, there's a lot of deer around. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to grunt. You know, I'm just going to take a few steps, a grunt a little bit, just do some tiny little grunts and just keep trying to get as close as I can to this deer. So I ended up losing him when I got stuck in the pickers, but I got back on the blood trail and I'm following the blood trail and I get up to this point. It's at the south end, like parallel to the south end of this pond. And I get up to this point that there's a bunch of blood, so he must have like stopped there for a second. And I take one more step and I break a twig. And I mean, I have deer go everywhere. I have four off to my left, three off to my right. Um, I'm freaking out because I'm trying to pick out which one he is and like which deer just took off, you know, which one has a rack on it, you know, just trying to catch something. And I'm pretty sure all the ones that went to my left were does. One doe and buck went to my right and the other one I couldn't see where it went. So I keep walking. I just, I'm hoping that it wasn't him. I hope he, he didn't spook very far. Um, I was watching one deer go around the pond and after I was looking, I was looking at this one deer and I think it's a doe and then all of a sudden I see like little antlers and it ended up being a tiny buck that I've already seen on camera I've had come in to the stand before and I look down the line of the pond and I see my buck and he's bedded down behind a tree. Guys, I found my buck, and I had to shoot him again. Um, I stalked up on him. There's a road right here behind me, and as cars would go by, I would get closer and closer to him. So I got into 20 yards and uh, put on my GoPro, and I had a shot, and I just had to drive it in there. So I drove it in there, and he got up and fell right back down. Um, so I didn't even have to track again. But he's gone a good ah, three new yards. I think the I hit the brisket and might have clipped the heart. Maybe I don't know. Um, but he still was walking. But he bedded down. I came up. This is crazy this morning. So. There's my buck. Um, oh, he's a nice. He's a nice buck. He's not my biggest, but he is. There's such a story behind him now, and uh, it's just amazing. I've always wanted to shoot a uh, buck with split brows, and so that was pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, he made me work for it, that's for sure, but he is a cool deer. Uh, has some good mass on him, his body is huge, so uh, it might not look like it right now, but it really is. Um, he's a nice deer. His neck is giant, he's been running hard, and uh, I am just so excited that I was able to lay him down. It's so awesome to just see him drop and I'm so glad I was able to get this deer. I hate wounding deer. Um, I've never lost, I've, I've lost one doe one year and I, that was a few years back and it was a horrible feeling and I, I really just didn't want to lose this guy because he's just so cool and I put in the work for him so I uh, I'm glad I stayed persistent and glad I was smart about it and I, he's a cool buck. He is a really cool buck. So uh, I'm super glad. These are so sweet. Just the splits. He's not a monster but he just a crazy story about him and ugh. I've never seen this deer before on my trail cameras and now I have it so I am I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited. But I gotta drag him out, I gotta get back to school. I have school in a few hours. I actually have class right now, but 
I got it. I had to take care of this guy. I couldn't leave him out here. Um, oh, he's just so sweet. He's such a cool buck. But I'm gonna get him out of here and uh, get back home and hang him up. So, woo!